<laughs> Hello and welcome to Microsoft Hates Greg. My name is Greg Deckler and today we're going to be talking about Microsoft Fabric. Um, normally I wouldn't create a video on the, such a trivial subject, um, but it's the big announcement coming out of Microsoft Build this year and it's caused quite a stir in the Power BI community and what I can tell, mass amounts of confusion. So hopefully I can help clear up a lot of that confusion, et cetera, okay? So what is Microsoft Fabric? Okay, Microsoft presents this, and I've seen blog articles on this, like it's this game-changing, you know, new platform that Microsoft has created. And it's a lot, and it's, you know, it's paradigm shift and all this stuff. It's a licensing bundle, people. <laughs> Y'all are getting excited about a licensing bundle, okay? It brings together Power BI, Azure Synapse, and Azure Data Factory in one SKU. Okay, it's just like buying a, a uh, an Office 365 E3 SKU or E5 SKU. It bundles a bunch of products together. I'm sure there are people that are just will hate my guts for for putting it in those terms, <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's so much more than that. That's what it is, people. It's basically a licensing bundle. Yeah, sure, it may ease deployment and things like that. Instead of buying this separately and configure it, and buying this separately and configure it, you just buy this one thing, and it all comes kind of pre-configured for you. Sure. But at the end of the day, it's just licensing products that already exist. Okay, so <laughs> hopefully that clears up some of the confusion. Um, now, I think the other place that uh, there's a, quite a bit of confusion out there is around the licensing and like how much is this thing going to cost? All right, so there's a whole licensing uh, page, right? And um, this is it, you know, learn.microsoft.com, en-us or whatever your country is, uh, fabric enterprise licenses, right? Um, okay, so this page goes through and, you know, okay, it's built around, you know, tenants, capacities, and workspaces. Mm, sounds familiar. Um, it's Power BI. So they go in and explain these things. And then they have this table right here, which I think is some of the start of the confusion. And I think a lot of the confusion is because they have these legacy Power BI licenses, right? And now they're trying to come up with this sort of this new paradigm, this bundle for licensing. And, you know, the two are kind of, you know, not meshing super well together. But so they, you know, essentially, you know, what supports Fabric, what doesn't? Okay, so shared capacity with Pro or Power BI or PPU or your A SKUs, right, for embedding, those don't support Fabric. The ones that do is the trial and then in, and then obviously the F SKUs, which are the new Fabric SKUs. We'll get to those in a second. And then I think the place that causes confusion is this Power BI premium per capacity. It says it supports Fabric. Um, to create workspace and share content, need a pro or PPU license uh, to view content, you know, blah, blah. Um, so to, you know, distribute Power BI in Microsoft Fabric content. Okay, so these are these are the P SKUs and these are existing SKUs, right? These things already exist. People are already paying, you know, for a P1, it's like 5K per month, you know, and then I think it's 10K. I think it doubles every time. Um, and maybe I should have looked that up, but whatever. We'll just go with it. It doubles. Um, but now, but now you come down to this, this right here, and this shows here's an, a fabric skew, and then the equivalent what you get as far as the Power BI environment, the equivalent skew. Okay, so an F64 is the equivalent of a P1 skew um, in Power BI, and then you know this would be a P2, P3, P4, P5. So let's say that this is 5K, 10K, you know. 20k, you know, 40k, 80k, whatever. I don't know if they they double or how that works, but I'll have to look that up. Um, so we can also probably, you know, kind of imagine that if these things double going up, then these would then have going down. Maybe I don't know. I'm just I'm totally making this up. This is pure speculation on my point. But one would think that okay, if it's a P1 SKU that I have today, then I does that become an F64 SKU because it says in, in the table up above that a P1 supports, that any of the premium capacities support Fabric. Um, so does a P1 just magically become an F64 SKU when this thing gets launched officially? And if, you know, okay, so that would mean that this would be 5K, right? Because that's what a P1 SKU costs. And so maybe in theory, right, a P32 would be 2,500, a P16 would be 1,250, a P625 for an F4 and a 312, you know, for an F2, maybe. <laughs> and did I do that right? Let's see, let's do that one more time. 
F32s would be that. F16 would be 1250. F8 would be, okay, F8 would be 625. F4 would be 312. And an F2 would be 156. Okay. I have no idea if that's the case, right? I'm just, I'm just purely speculating on this. Um, in, but, you know, it's kind of, that seems, strikes me odd as far as if a P1 supports fabric, then that should be an F64 SKU. Um, maybe? Or is it going to be an F64 SKU is going to be more expensive than a P1? And maybe a P1 SKU only lets you use part of fabric? I don't know. I think that's where a lot of the confusion is. Um, I'm not going to worry about it, um, you know, I, because it's a licensing bundle. When the actual thing gets launched and with the pricing and everything, all will be revealed. And, you know, we only have to wait a week or so for that. So big deal. All right. Hopefully this, it's, this cleared up a few things. Maybe it just added the confusion. I don't know. Um, but, I, you know, on the, on the second hand, you know, I just have a I have a real problem believing that Microsoft is going to give away free stuff. And that my existing, you know, P1 SKU that I'm paying 5K with is now suddenly going to include Azure Synapse and data, Azure Data Factory at no additional cost. So who knows, right? But uh, we'll all find out eventually. So that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.